Yeah, buddy, top of the top, baby, you already know. So listen, uh, there was this, I guess, social media figure. Um, I guess he's a rapper or whatever. You know, everybody has like these new titles these days online, <laughs> you know. Um, but I guess he's uh, one of those reality star type individuals. Um, anyhow, she had expressed... Of, you know, of all things, uh, this list in terms of you know certain jobs that a um, that a man shouldn't have at a certain age. Well, before I go in, nobody is qualified to speak on such topics uh, if they're not a man for one, and two, they're not in the labor market or have never been in the labor or job market. Okay, you know, pretty much stick to what you know. You know, if that's, you know, reality TV or whatever it is, we're in a time where uh, people have too many opinions that are not qualified to speak on such things. But I'm going to go ahead and break it down for you. Uh, for a man to have a honest paying job or making an honest living is any age. Okay, there's no age limit as to when you should make an honest living, all right? Uh, as far as certain jobs, you know, say for instance you work at a, you know, at a, a greasy spoon or, or whatever the case may be, um, again, it's legal, it's, uh, it's an honest living, that individual is not asking or begging for you for anything, so... You know, you have to respect that uh, gentleman that's willing to work hard. I don't care who they are. Um, there's a, a seasoned gentleman that I see that's about, I want to say, 85 or 84 years young. And he pretty much handles the, I want to say, custodial services and landscaping and things of that nature. This gentleman should be retired. However, he could be taking care of his grandkids. Uh, we don't know the circumstances of why that gentleman is working. However, um, I always salute him every time I see him. There's another gentleman that I used to see at the supermarket um, around 75, whatever the case may be. I would always see him running around and I could tell he had some type of um, injury in regards to his foot because he had this limp. Uh, and I, I felt really, really, bad for him but I always saluted him every time I see him that's a man working you know so we got to stop this uh, job shaming you know from from the lesser kind that have never contributed to the society uh, you know any man that's not willing to work hard you have to respect and salute that gentleman um, and then all you know because we don't speak enough on the people who are not stepping up and handling business that are lazy, shiftless, shiftless, excuse me, and um, contribute nothing to society. Those are the people that we should speak down on. Okay, you know your uh, your dysfunctional shine, you know, and, and that sort of thing. But nevertheless, as I stated before, um, anybody that works hard and makes an honest living. You have to salute them because guess what? They could be robbing you. <laughs> Didn't think about that, did you? So we must be careful of these uh, these narratives that we paint. On another level, as far as why a lot of your older or seasoned men are working in certain positions, a lot of your millennials, and I spoke on this before on a previous post, a lot of your Gen Z are not really driven. Uh, you know, they don't have any level of consistency. They're not willing to go hard, so to speak. And um, that creates a lull. You know, you have a case, you have a lot of cases where, and I've witnessed this personally, you know, these guys take off when they want to. Uh, they have no kind of consistency. Or commitment and this is not all Gen Z you got a lot of great guys out there that are working hard and doing what they're supposed to do but you also have a good number of them 
you know, that boogie jive and, you know, want something for nothing. So you have to take that into consideration versus a gentleman uh, that may, maybe is a little older, uh, 30-ish and up, or, you know, that are at certain positions. I know I've had to work certain positions that people would say, well, hey, he's a little too old. You know, I worked at a movie theater once, you know, and, um, and my resume clearly... <laughs> you know, was above that kind of position, but I needed to work at the time, you know, so you can't just, you can't necessarily get the jobs that you want, uh, you have to be mindful of that, but you take what you can get for the time being until you can get something better, you know, um, so, but back to the millennials, as I stated in a previous post, a lot of them, you know, don't, ha don't have the, um, the discipline to commit to a certain position, you know, uh, they, you know, they, they flake, um, very flighty, and, you know, so if they didn't have that foundation and that structure of discipline, you're going to see a lot of shortcomings, you know, so you have to take that into consideration, all right, uh, in the meantime, for, you know, all my younger cats out there, show up, be on time, you know, don't be the first to eat when they have a, a buffet or something, fall back. You know, be classy, carry yourself with dignity, come clean, uh, well-groomed, you know, not, not your pants sagging and, you know, uh, if you have a beard, make sure it's trimmed, okay? Be clean out here in a minute.